Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. I welcome you to the Veggies blog and I welcome you to this channel. In this video, you're going to be seeing El Emanuela, Tulu, and Dara Simi, the, the, the people that organize the tech talk, the tech truth talk, okay? And in this video, you will also see um, the appreciation of Tulu. You know, she delivered her first baby, Jason last year december and she used this opportunity to appreciate her fans and her followers also and also in this video you're going to be finding the definition of waiting on the lord okay to wait on the lord is not an easy task okay if you are in the waiting room you need to be part you, you need to have a scriptural a scriptural um quotes that will back you up so you don't give up because the waiting room is real and i hope as you listen to what they have to tell us in this video you would understand and stay firm in god no matter what you're feeling no matter what you're going through god is going to answer your prayers and the waiting room is actually real during the waiting room you will find temptation, you will find a lot of negativities, but you need to be firm. So I, will, I would pray for you that you open your heart to listen to this short clip I attached to this video. And, and I pray that you, you have an open mind and God is going to answer all your secret prayers. Why not subscribe and like and share this video? trust that everybody's doing great and the year is going on very well i would like to use this opportunity to say a big thank you to everybody for your congratulatory messages well wishes your prayers and your gifts towards the birth of our son we say thank you all so so much god bless you I'm so sorry, I can't reply everybody individually. <laughs> the messages are a lot. <laughs> so this is me using this opportunity to say a big thank you and God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Pending the time we'll be releasing new episodes of True Talk, we just want to use this video to encourage someone out there who is waiting on God for one thing or another. Waiting on God can be hard. It's not easy. It is not easy. But then you have to just learn to hold on to god's promises because if god has promised it then he will do it so you have to learn to trust god's will for you and his timing so those are two things that are important god's will and god's timing so you need to hold on to the word of god just trust him hold on to his promises over your life and you will surely see it come to manifestation in the waiting period it's very important to receive a word from god and that word is going to be your anchor in the waiting process it's not easy to wait it's very difficult to wait trust me we know but you need to receive a word that will strengthen and solidify your faith and will encourage you to wait especially when god has told you to wait so you will not just be waiting and miss you know you can also you can never be too patient but it's very important that you receive an assuring word from god you know it's 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 very encouraging to know that um throughout the waiting period um, process of abraham you know the lord kept on promising him and telling him that his children will be like the sand on the seashore that is a reassuring word from god but it would have been so difficult for abraham if you know throughout all those years he, he heard nothing from god not a word it would be so difficult and abraham truly will be wondering if all this waiting is worth it and if truly there is a god that is listening to him no but he received that word from god and the bible said that abraham believed Abraham believes the word. That's the child where he's called the father of faith. You know, and definitely in the waiting period, you'll feel so lonely, dejected, neglected. You feel like you're in the dark, like you are shut out. That is where the word comes in. Because the Bible says in Psalms 119 verse 105, that your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So the word of God is meant to enlighten your position. 
and encourage you and strengthen your faith and reassure you that you're not in the dark. No, you are working and walking in the light of God's word. By your power, by your strength, it is difficult, almost impossible to wait on God. It is so hard and it's not even worth it using your strength to wait on God. It is worth it to hold on to God's word. You need God's strength and we need God's grace. Once we have this, he gives us the enablement to wait on him. And I pray God to help us all in Jesus' name. In the waiting period, it's also very important to get busy. Find something doing. You know, find something that has eternal value. It's not for us to remain idle. It's not for us to while away time. It's for us to invest our time and build capacity for what we're waiting for, what we're waiting on God for. You know, we should see this period as a chance and as an opportunity to build enough capacity for when the answer finally comes. So in this period, we should, you know, research and become knowledgeable in a lot of areas. Let's, let's, let's become diverse. Let's become vast in our understanding. Let's become, you know, people of wisdom that when people hear us talk, they know that truly we've invested time into things that matter on the long run. You know, and it's for us to um, invest our time into things that have eternal value. Do things that God will look at you and say, wow, well done. I'll definitely answer you speedily. <laughs> but it's for you to invest your time into beneficial things, things that have eternal value, things that will help you on the long run. It's for you to be teachable in this time and acquire wisdom and acquire the knowledge that you need. It's for you to research, research on the job you're waiting God for, read up on the marriage and read, just read up on the things they are waiting God for. It's for you to invest your time in knowledge and invest your time into building capacity city also in this period do not surround yourself with people that will pull you down the worst place you can be is in the company of people that talk down on you that talk down on the god that you serve you should be with a company that will strengthen you and uphold you there's a reason in the bible said that you should not forsake the assembly of the brethren because truly in unity there is strength in unity there is in unity there is fortitude so i pray that the lord will help us in jesus name amen it's not about how long you waited. It's not about how, you know, the length of your waiting period or how hard it was during your waiting period. But it's about the, the how well you maximize the period, how you spent the period of waiting. Were you just grumbling and complaining, God, why, God, when, God, how, God, which way? Or were you trusting him? Were you holding on to his word? Were you praising him? Were you hopeful? Like Abraham was, even when he was waiting for the fruit of the womb. And God finally showed up for him. So it's not about how long, really. It's not just about that, but it's about how well we spent the period. May God help us all in Jesus' name. Always remember that our God is too faithful, too faithful to ever, ever fail. So hold on to his word. Trust his timing. He will definitely, definitely surely come through for you he will let us pray heavenly father we say thank you for today thank you for your children father we appreciate you for each and every one of us father we we join our faith lord together with every of your child everyone waiting for you god almighty for one thing or the other and we ask that lord god almighty even in this waiting period you will strengthen them your word will be released upon them you will help them Help each and every one of us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Help us to maximize our waiting period. Help us to hold on to your word and trust that you will see us through. In the name of Jesus. Is anyone due for their blessing? Lord, we pray that the floodgates of heaven will be opened and their blessings are released in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you. Till next, next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.